your ability to focus for long periods of time is directly related to how much you can learn. This is especially true in something like mathematics where you need prolonged periods of focus for more challenging problems. Even for basic mathematics, you still need to be able to sit down for 30 minutes to an hour and focus. And the better your concentration, the more you can learn. And it doesn't matter what you're trying to learn. It can be anything. It could be mathematics, physics, computer science, a new language, engineering, anatomy, biology, chemistry. These techniques will help increase your focus so you can improve your intellect and get better at whatever it is you're trying to learn. I am The Math Sorcerer, and this is my YouTube channel. If you are not a subscriber, consider subscribing today. The brain is a muscle, and it needs to be trained in order to improve your focus. It's like anything. If you're trying to learn a new skill, you need to practice that skill in order to become better at it. The same is true with focusing. The more time you spend during your intense study sessions learning to focus, the better you're going to get at it and the better you're going to become at whatever it is you are trying to learn. Set goals and deadlines. By setting goals, you have a plan of action. You know when you're going to study. You know what you want to study. By setting deadlines, you're doing something that is incredible. For one, you're freeing up more time in your life for other things besides improving focus and learning. And secondly, you're automatically improving your focus because if you know you're only going to study for 30 minutes to an hour today because that's all the time you have in your life because you're so busy with everything else, that's actually going to make you better and you're going to be able to focus better because you know that all you have is 30 minutes. And this is why I'm always recommending that people start with short timed study sessions because it automatically increases your focus because you know you only have 30 minutes to an hour to learn what you're trying to learn. So it forces you to focus on the material. And that's one way you can help increase your focus so you can focus like a genius. Organize your thoughts. And by this, I mean you need to really just focus on what you're focusing on. Most of us wake up every day and we have a million things going on. Maybe you have to go to school. Maybe you have jobs. Maybe you have a significant other. Maybe you have kids. Maybe you're married. Whatever it is, you have responsibilities and life is hard. It is very hard. So I think that a lot of people have a hard time putting aside all of life's distractions and being able to sit down and really focus on mathematics or on programming or whatever it is you're trying to learn. So by organizing your thoughts and telling yourself, hey, this is the time I have that I'm going to use to work on this. Everything else in my life, I'm going to put aside and I'm going to work on it later. Focus. Find a quiet place to work. I realize that this may not be possible for everyone to do. And sometimes you're going to have to go out of your comfort zone to find that quiet place. Many of you have quiet living situations at home, or maybe you have a nice place you can go to, but that might not be the case for everyone. If you're in that situation, you might have to put in a little bit of extra work to figure out where you can study, right? Maybe it's under a tree in a park. Maybe it's at a coffee shop that's not busy. Or maybe you can go to a busy location and put on earphones or something else to help block out the distractions. Whatever you decide, make sure you find a place that works for you. Eliminating distractions is one of the most powerful things you can do in order to increase your focus. If you eliminate distractions, then the only thing that's distracting you is your own mind, your own thoughts in your head. But if you have a phone next to you or if you have a computer next to you, it's very easy to get distracted. Unfortunately, we live in a day and age where we have online homework for most classes that people take. There's pros and cons to online homework, but one of the biggest cons is that it is on an electronic device. You have access to the internet, so it's really, really easy to get distracted and start doing other things. Remember, when you sit down to learn, when you sit down to focus, to improve your focus, you want to have a distraction-free area. Put your cell phone away, turn it off, 
Don't browse Facebook. Don't go to YouTube. Stop watching this video. No, I'm kidding. Keep watching it because I have more tips for you that are going to help you increase your focus like a genius. Taking breaks is probably one of the hardest and most counterintuitive things you can do in order to improve your focus. Because if you're trying to learn something difficult like mathematics or physics or any other subject, maybe engineering, you know that you have to put in a lot of time in order to learn that subject. And the more time you put in, the more you can learn. The problem is you need breaks, you need mental breaks, and it's important to take breaks. So what do you do if you're only studying 30 minutes to an hour a day? How do you break that up so you can take a break? The answer is you simply take a day off. And as hard as it is, it's worth it. I always make an analogy to lifting weights. You know, if you go to the gym and you lift weights, say you work out your chest and your back like I did yesterday. Today, I'm not going to lift chest and back. I'm not going to work out those muscles because they need to rest. The brain is the same. Sometimes you just need a mental break. So don't forget to take breaks. When you wake up on those days where you just don't feel well and you just don't feel like doing it, it's okay to take a break. Even if you have to learn some stuff, sometimes those breaks are going to help you tremendously and you're going to come back rejuvenated. I want to emphasize that when you decide to take breaks from studying, when you're scheduled to study, it's really important to do something you enjoy. If you like playing video games, go play video games. I am a huge League of Legends player. I'm a huge troll. I love the game and I'm okay, kind of, but it's something I enjoy. So do that. I enjoy working out. That's something I enjoy. So if you enjoy working out, do that. If you enjoy going for a walk, do that. If you like swimming, do that. Whatever it is you like to do, do it. I think something physical is always going to really help recharge your mind because by exercising and being outside, it just really helps clear your head, especially after prolonged periods of study time or prolonged days of studying every day. We all need a break and you're not going to get better at focusing if you don't take those breaks and you don't give your mind that time it needs to rest. Reward yourself. This is one that is very important and it's taken me a very long time to appreciate this one and I'm still working on it. Nobody is perfect. Nobody. So by reward yourself, I mean that after you have those intense study sessions or after you accomplish what you're trying to accomplish, reward yourself. You know, if you want to go out and have some ice cream because you like ice cream and maybe you know it's not really the best thing for you, but, you know, indulge, right? Reward yourself. You know, play those video games. Have that good time, whatever it takes. Life is short and you have to remember to enjoy it. We are all trying to learn as much as possible. We are all trying to focus as much as possible. But at the end of the day, you want to try to reward yourself for those little victories, those little accomplishments that you make every day when you go through your study sessions. It really makes it better because after your study session, you've learned some mathematics or whatever you're trying to learn and you can look forward to something. You can look forward to rewarding yourself for having such a great study session. Improving your focus is directly related to how much you can learn and it is such a big deal. The better you can focus, the better you can learn. Hopefully after watching this video, you've become a little bit better and you have some ideas that you can go out there and implement and improve your focus so you can learn to focus like a genius. Do you have advice for people regarding focus? If so, please consider leaving a comment. If you have anything positive to say that can help other people, leave a comment. People read the comments, they reply to the comments, and I think that when you leave constructive comments, it helps other people. Maybe there's something I missed. Please add it in the comment section. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Now get out there and learn to focus like a genius.